So here we are, man. Kentucky. Land of bourbon, whiskey, and stuff. Moonshine. I don't know about all that. So Gas Monkey is always looking for cars. I mean, we get a lot of leads through the interwebs, phone calls, people send us in pictures, et cetera. And yesterday, we got a lead on the old interwebs that was a little above my pay grade, so to speak. The guy has a 1970 365 Ferrari in his garage in Kentucky, Louisville, Kentucky. So there I was talking on the phone to a guy about a front-engine V12 Ferrari. Now, front-engine V12 Ferrari is pretty special, and they're highly collectible. And this one's one of the last ones built. Fully restored, this car can go for a quarter million dollars. When you get a lead on a Ferrari barn find, there's a lot of guys out there with a lot of money that are looking for just those. So you got to jump a plane, you got to go fast. I said, the best I can do is be there first thing in the morning with cash in the bag right there. Maybe I've seen too many movies, but don't think I'm not a little unnerved about driving around these parts of Kentucky with uh, over 100 grand in cash. Dude, where are we going? I feel like I'm in deliverance. Mm -hmm. Well, we have never found this, that's for sure. So far off the beaten path, nobody ever see it. Golly. Look at that. There it is. In the middle of Kentucky, freaking Ferrari sitting in a barn. It's awesome. No, well, this is where you're going to earn your keep. Always. You got to tell me what we're looking at. It says Ferrari on it. It does. <laughs> Morning. Morning. How you doing? Oh, my name is Mike Whitaker. Y'all want to borrow my flashlight and take a peek in there? Yeah, that'd be great. My stepbrother's father purchased a car back in uh, 1975. He never did drive it. It's always been a restoration project. It just never did happen. He passed away. It's been sitting for roughly about seven years in storage. So I didn't bring Dennis along this time for his money. Uh, literally, I brought him along to make sure that this is the real deal car, that it's unmolested and original, and that all the numbers match. I'm buying this one. 13149GT. Got it. That's it. Outstanding. Great car. Numbers match. Very correct. Golly, this car's got 74,000 miles on it. Let's just see if the motor will spin over. It's definitely no. not locked up. No, it's not locked up. Just hit it one more time. OK, that's good. We're, I, I don't want to suck a bunch of bad gas in it, Richard. Let's just leave it, let, let it alone. OK. The car is what it was supposed to be, which is great. Tools are in the trunk. Actually, a toolkit for these cars is a big deal. You know, I think it's a car they probably don't have to restore. I think you clean it up. Do mechanical on it, drive it like it is. Very cool. Bam. Pretty neat car. I like it, but how much is it? Well, I'll probably let it go for about 175. Dude, I was really hoping to get this for about 100 grand. Oh. Hmm. I'm here, I got cash. It's about 150,000. We're moving in the right direction. Well, Dennis, I mean, what do you think? I should pay for it. I mean, I don't know. I think it's a hundred twenty-five thousand dollar car. He says one hundred twenty-five. Got you to one hundred fifty. <sighs> Where can we go from there? Mm. I can do one hundred forty flat. That's, that's the bottom low as I can go. All right, let me let me talk to Dennis for a second. Let me think about. It. You won't be stealing it there, but you just can't buy those cars. It's not going to make a bunch of money from there, but it won't lose. I mean, I can make a quarter on it, can I? Probably, yeah. All right, let me get my cash. If I want to play with the big boys, I can't split every big deal with Dennis. I mean, it's time for me to sink or swim on my own. This is uh, a big step for me. One, two. Well, I forgot the handshake. We got to deal at 140. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'm all nervous. I've known you for a long time. It's the first time I've seen you actually shake when you're giving somebody money. <laughs> See, there's 140,000 bucks. The whole time I was pulling out all that money, I'm like, that's like five cars to me. I mean, that's like five chances to make money, not one. 50, 50, 40. 140 grand in cash. That's like I said. No oh, good deal. I really wanted to pay 100, and we ended up at 140 grand. Did I steal the car? No, I don't think I stole it. Well, man, Michael, we appreciate it. Hey, no problem. Uh, you feel free to count that. I think this was a good deal. Like I said, we inherited it. So, I mean, that's 140000 plus in our wallet. Let's get back to Dallas, man. You better be right this car's worth two hundred. I got to sell this thing fast. So we're going to get out of here because it's rainy and nasty, and I think this dog's fixing to eat me.